Hello, and welcome to the week three devlog for my HTC Vive archery game. If you've watched the last two videos, you'll notice that a lot has changed since the last version, so I'm going to get started right away so that I can try to cover all the new features in time. One of the first things you'll notice is that we're no longer inside a concrete room. By popular demand via Reddit posts, I've decided to create my version of the lab's archery castle defense. If you'll notice, the wall that we're on is a bit long, so that hopefully we can have additional friends be playing the same game with you in the future. Another thing you might notice is that we no longer have the red low polygon bow. Instead, I've added a more traditional recurve bow that has a great uh, sight line on it, as well as replacing the arrow from the low polygon red model to a more traditional or current aluminum uh, model with a nice tip on it. Uh, the enemies that are coming in are, four are three different types of skeletons. And if we can shoot them, you'll see they have ragdoll physics. And uh, currently, they simply have a couple spawn points that will spawn them randomly and more as time goes on. And they will navigate themselves into the castle door. Obviously, I've only had a week to work on this, so there's no real end game right now. They just stack up on the door. Um, but it gives you a good idea of what will be coming in the future. Uh, I created the general terrain, added some rocks, and have some really fantastic background mountains that are very low performance hit that I think look really great right now. Um, obviously, this map is not a final design. It's just really for testing and seeing how all of this works. Um, for fans of a lot of the bow and arrow games, uh, the lab, longbow, and I think a couple others let you do this as well, I've added a fire so that you can take your arrow, put it in the fire, and light it up. Um, I think the effect looks pretty nice. I'm using a custom shader for the fire effect. Um, and one of the other, the interesting things that you can do with the fire is, uh, if you have one arrow, and I grab another arrow, I can light the arrows on fire from each other, so it's kind of a dynamic fire system. Uh, right now, the, air, the fire arrows don't do anything to the skeletons. Um, in fact, they actually it just makes it harder to see through, but I think in the future I'll kind of do what the lab does where uh, you see there's a couple uh, skeleton types that have shields, so uh, have them drop their shields if their shields catch on fire. Um, another thing I can do is shoot the arrow through the fire and it should catch on fire as it's going through um, throwing it I, I think I missed there um, but yep the fire system is now in place and everybody has been asking for that so I think that uh, it works pretty well and uh, I, I think it looks really nice for uh, I, I will admit this is not my original work um, someone else created a really great f particle system and uh, I think it looks fantastic in the game you even has uh, you can see some shadows from the smoke um, another thing that I've been really interested in doing is having some additional types of arrows and this one was suggested to me by my dad when I gave it this game to for him to play um, these are exploding arrows and the way they work is you shoot them down and they stick into wherever they go and by pressing the grip button, you can explode all of your shot arrows at the same time. Uh, it's incredibly satisfying to shoot these arrows and blow up a skeleton uh, underneath it, but obviously there's limited supply or there will be a cooldown so, uh, arrows that kind of pop up every couple of seconds or so, uh, maybe one every 25 seconds would probably be a good timing for it. Um, the system is stuttering a little bit because I'm doing a 1080p recording of the system right now. Uh, when I'm not recording, uh, it's completely fine and I have a number of settings that will let it uh, work. I've actually, over this past week, was able to have a friend 
try uh, some some of the VR stuff on a GTX 770 and was able to get a number of the games working without uh, a single frame drop. So I'm really excited to have um, some additional low benchmarks to test on to make sure that really as many people as possible have access to playing the game. Um, I'm not entirely sure what's going to happen here. All these, but... Oop! Uh, froze for a second there. That's a lot of... Uh, <laughs> a lot of mayhem that that, that caused. Um, so yeah, this is what the, the current version of the game. I'll be adding additional arrows. I'm really excited at how simple these were to implement by just adding uh, additions to the standard arrow type. Um, oh, another interesting thing is that if these arrows um, touch the fire, then they'll explode immediately. So you can only use certain arrows through the fire uh, if you don't want to have problems. Um, I've changed how the bow mechanic works. I've added a bit of a filtering system uh, so that even if you your hand is shaking a little bit, uh, I'm actually artificially shaking my hand a little bit right now, it'll stay pretty pretty solid to where uh, your your hand generally is. It filters out some of the noise in your position, even if I'm going like this, it'll stay pretty solid. Um, as well as uh, for both both hands holding the bow while you're ha having an arrow pulled back. Um, that's pretty much it for the additions this week. Uh, a lot of time was spent in creating this general system as well as adding all of the um, new assets to the game, uh, trying out a number of things. I have a grass system, but I had to disable it for this video um, because the performance was suffering a little bit still. Um, but I'm really happy with, uh, with where this is going, and I'd love to hear some feedback uh, from you guys about what you would like to see in the future now that uh, you kind of see a little bit of the direction that this game is going. Um, additionally, uh, before I go, one of the things I would like to make clear is the aesthetic for this game is definitely still um, in development. Uh, I know that this kind of current recurve bow is not at all related to the castle wall siege um, kind of medieval style. Uh, I'm just looking uh, for what feels right. I would like to steer away from sci science fiction, but whether it's current modern bows um, or medieval fantasy, uh, I, that's still um, being decided on, as well as uh, this fire is a bit more kind of cartoony. It looks really nice, and the shaders are are nice, but it's still not a like a photorealistic fire. Whereas some of these mountain the the mountain textures in the background may be what you would consider photorealistic, as well as like this uh, the wood grain in the uh, the bow. So a lot of the components of this system don't kind of match up aesthetically. Uh, and that's definitely still being worked on. All right, so I think that's it for this devlog. Um, I'll be continuing this week uh, to work on this system. And if you haven't seen the Reddit thread, um, the GitHub page, or the GitHub project that I've been using for my interaction, uh, the developer for that asked me for um, a bit of help in creating a simple bow and arrow uh, animation system. And since I've used his plugin so much in creating this initially, I said, of course, I would love to help. And so um, if you check out the GitHub page that was posted in the very first uh, devlog, it now actually has a bow and arrow shooting and system uh, that I helped put together. Uh, along with him doing some additional work after after I gave him the initial setup. Uh, so if you want to play around in Unity with your own bow and arrow system, um, I'm not trying to keep this all under wraps. Uh, the more games for the Vive and for VR, I think, the better. 
So I look forward to even seeing your creations uh, using some of the bow and arrow systems that I've developed. All right, I think that's it for this week. Uh, I'll see you next week with uh, updates on progress and make sure to uh, leave some feedback either in the comments or uh, in the Reddit thread that'll be linked at the bottom of this video and uh, I'll link this video uh, in Reddit as well. All right, bye.